Welcome back to Geek Therapy Radio. I'm Johnny Hamburger. We're all geeks about something. You listening right now, you're a geek about something. Whether it's cars or music, either listening to it or making it, you're a geek about that. You can be a geek about Legos, buddy. You can be a geek about cooking. I haven't even mentioned that. You can be a geek about cooking. Now I'm thinking about all sorts of delicious noms. I told you we're going to get basic on this show, so uh, I got to (laughs) use the word noms. No offense as I take a sip from my pumpkin spice coffee. Mm, Nom, 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 nom. All the noms. Welcome back to welcome back to Peak Hot Take a Buku Buku. Welcome back, Geek Therapy Radio. I promise we're gonna get onto some geek topics and we will. Do you remember that show, that reality show, The Biggest Loser? Well, they followed several of them around for a few years after the show, and they have they have um, they have discovered that the Biggest Loser contestants must exercise like crazy to keep the weight off. You don't say! Are you telling me that if you lose 100 pounds, you have to keep exercising to keep the weight off? Fascinating! Titillating! Extraordinary information. But I'm not just being a... (laughs) Nugget of, of, uh, I'm not just being a butthead. And actually, they figured out that since people who lose such drastic amounts of weight have to work extra hard to keep it off. Extra hard. So the study isn't just that you have to work out to keep weight off. It's that if you lose an extreme amount of weight in a short amount of time, like the biggest loser uh, people do, you have to work extra, extra hard, way harder than anybody else to keep it off. And I can only figure that that's because, and again, I, I promise we're going to, this segment, we're going to talk about the new Razer smartphone. But uh, I can only imagine that if you've lost, let's say you've lost 100 pounds in a short amount of time, that you need to do extra, 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 extra work to keep it off. It's because... And I'm just guessing, maybe any medical or, or dietitians out there, nutritionists can, can weigh in on this on Facebook or on YouTube, Geek Therapy Radio on Facebook or YouTube. Maybe you can weigh in on this, get it, weigh in on this. Um, I think when you lose 100 pounds real fast, you have to do all the extra work to keep it off because your body probably, and again, I'm just guessing, your body has, that's been the status quo of your body, of your uh, of your a metabolism so basically when you lose a drastic amount of weight real fast your body is like oh crap i'm dying let's slow down my metabolism to store up fat because i'm not eating as much and everything i'm eating is burned so let's slow down the fat burning process let's store more of this fat in our food uh because your body the status quo has been has been uh drastically changed so if you lose 100 pounds in six months or whatever it is your body basically thinks it's dying it's you're not dying your body thinks it's starving even though you could go from 300 to 200 pounds you know you're still depending on your height and everything you're still technically overweight you're still eons better than you were as far as health is concerned but uh if your body loses 100 pounds real quick let's say you go from 500 to 400 your body still thinks it's starving, which it's not, but it's still a shock to the status quo of your system. So that makes sense that if you are losing that much body weight real fast, then you have to really work extra hard to keep it off and to keep losing weight. So I wasn't just being a little turd nugget at the beginning of this uh, at the beginning of this segment. You know what? I heard the most awesome phrase awesome term that i haven't heard in a long time one of my facebook friends tom who's in a band and tom if you're listening what up bruh uh, <laughs> i think he called one of the uh he called one of the dodgers one of the la dodgers uh 
Can you see what I was just scratching down there? Hope not. He called one of the LA Dodgers fart knocker. I haven't heard the term fart knocker in forever, and I told him clickety clickety click on Facebook. I'm stealing that phrase because I haven't heard that in a long time, and it's awesome, and now I'm going to use it and incorporate it into my daily vocabulary, my repertoire of insults, which I don't give a ton of insults. I'm not that kind of guy, but I'm just going to be chomping at the bit to to see someone do something stupid in public and be, oh, fart knocker, fart knocker, you're a fart knocker. That's the most I've ever yelled on Geek Therapy Radio, and it was to say fart knocker. I might label uh, this segment on YouTube just Fart Knocker. I'm not going to label it uh, Razor Razor Phone. It's going to be Fart Knocker. Um, a ghost just pushed close the DeLorean model's door right now. Or my hand's slamming on things. Okay. Razor Phone. Actually, I can call Razor a Fart Knocker. And then later on, next segment, I can call uh, NVIDIA a Fart Knocker. For the 1070 Ti, but let me tell you why Razer, the company Razer who builds gaming laptops and gaming peripherals for way more than they're worth in components. Anyways, Razer, why Razer's a fart knocker with their new flagship phone. The phone is great. Again, I have long maintained that the modern smartphone industry has plateaued over the last three to five years honestly this my samsung galaxy note 4 is 95 percent as good in every measurable way if not better than any modern flagship phone than the galaxy note 8 that just came out this this note 4 that came out in 2014 i believe is 95 percent as good as a 900 hundred dollar phone so anyways, the new Razer uh, phone is wonderful. It's standout features because I need to tell, say it's standout features because the CPU isn't standout, the GPU isn't standout, the screen is standout. It's 120 hertz refresh rate. The Apple iPad Pro that, that came out recently has, what is it, what is it, Retina Vision or whatever, Apple Vision? Anyways, it's 120, up to 120 uh, hertz refresh rate screen um for those geeks among us who doesn't who might not know what why refresh rates in in frames per second matter think about a movie when you're watching a movie and it has that cinematic feel to it it's because you're watching each picture go by at 24 frames per second if you try to play a video game at 24 frames per second it would not fly. There's not a gamer alive who would take who would who would take hook, line, and sinker the uh, the value of this game has a cinematic feel. No, cinematic just means 24 frames per second. It means the game is poorly optimized and sucks. Gamers want at least 60 frames per second. And if you're a gamer who plays competitive games like CSGO or even Rocket League, uh, you want at least 120 frames per second. And this phone has 120 frames per second. 120 hertz, that's the refresh rate of every of every frame on the phone 120 hertz so if you're playing your mobile games it's at 120 hertz um i go back to rocket league at 120 hertz i don't play it at 120 hertz because i don't have 120 hertz uh monitor or tv um there's not many 100 true 120 megahertz 120 hertz tvs but anyways um yeah so let me get to why 120 hertz on a phone is on a gaming phone, quote unquote, is kind of stupid. It's dumb to me. This is why Razer is a fart knocker, is because they excluded the only feature that I really want in a gaming smartphone. If Sony released a Sony Xperia again in 2017 or 18, I will purchase it at any price. And let me tell you why. Because the old Sony Xperia had flip-out physical controls. And if you were going to call your device a gaming device, 
You need physical controls. You need the joystick. You need the thumbsticks. You need the D-pad. You need all the buttons and the shoulder buttons. That's what you need on an action if you're going to call your device a gaming device. To call this smartphone a gaming smartphone. A gaming smartphone to do what? Candy Crush? That's stupid. And I, there are a couple of games that I can think of on the App Store or on Google Play that use um, the touch screen and motion sensing very effectively and very fun. Real Racing, that's one game. Uh, Asphalt, the Asphalt games are great. Both of those car racing games are great. Um, of course, Angry Birds uses the touch screen very well. Candy Crush uses the touch screen. Fruit Ninja, all that stuff uses the touch screen very well. But what, who, are you, are you seriously calling yourself a gamer if you're really good at Angry Birds? Can a, can you call yourself a gamer or be taken, res, taken, uh, have any respect whatsoever for yourself if you're a gamer who's really good at Candy Crush or Fruit Ninja or even Asphalt? No! So why do you call this device a gaming smartphone? That's not... I already have a beef with the term gamer in general, and I won't really get into it, but it's a stretch to think of people are called gamers athletes. I love gaming. I am a gamer. I love playing Rocket League ad nauseum. Street Fighter is my ish. That's my joint. I play it competitively. And so I am a gamer. Do I consider myself an athlete? Hell to the no. No. I'm sorry. Do you need quick reflexes like an athlete to be a competitive gamer? Yes, absolutely you do. But you don't need to be 6'5", 240 pounds of pure muscle to be a gamer. You can. There's nothing that's saying you can't be a muscle-bound hunk and be a gamer. But is, are, is, are, is your athleticism going to have any advantage over the 300 pound person sitting next to you no it's not because you are sitting any sport that involves you sitting down for 12 hours at a time that's not an athlete you can still be a gamer but it's just not an athlete gamers are not when they're gaming they're not being athletes a gamer can be an athlete outside of gaming but while they're gaming holding that controller or mouse and keyboard it's hardly an athlete being a gamer doesn't make you an athlete so anyways my beef with the razor phone is that it doesn't have physical controls and i know you're thinking johnny you stupid idiot why would a smartphone have physical controls that's dumb well i kind of agree a little bit so you shouldn't call this a gamer phone if it doesn't have physical controls, don't say it's a gamer phone. What I want in a phone that's called a gamer phone is a Kick A GPU, graphics processing unit, and physical controls slide out like a like Sony PSP controls or something like that. You can make a phone like that. You can add another millimeter or two. I don't care. Just make it so that the game controls sh they slide out or they flip out. Physical controls. That's what makes a gaming device a gaming device. So, that aside, the Razer phone does look really good. I'm not going to buy one because it's hella expensive. Yeah, I said hella. Deal with it. All the specs are great. It's got a DAC. It's THX certified. By the way, Razer bought THX. So, of course, it's the first phone to be THX certified with Dolby Atmos. Razer bought THX. That's dumb. And what what kind of Atmos sound are you, Dolby Atmos are you going to get from a smartphone? I do love, though. I do adore that the phone has huge bezels on top and bottom. By huge, I mean half an inch. Huge bezels that house speakers. And apparently those speakers are really good. And I'm not saying that the speaker quality for a smartphone isn't going to be just astonishing. But THX in a smartphone, it, that's kind of like... That's kind of like putting 20s on a Volkswagen Beetle. Or putting, like, racing slicks on a Volkswagen Beetle. Does it, what? What? 
a stock VW Bug, and I'm not talking even about a new one. I'm talking about an old 1974 Beetle, unmodified. The only thing it has is racing slicks. That's what a THX certified THX certified phone is, in my mind. Is it a great phone? Absolutely. It looks amazing. I love how it's chunky and, and rectangular, and I love that the big bezels on the top and bottom are to house front-facing stereo speakers. Cell phone speakers suck so bad. The bottom firing speaker, or the only thing that I don't like about this note is the back firing speaker. That's dumb. I would take some more bezel on the top and bottom to have front firing speakers. So Razer knocked it out of the park, park as far as the design of the phone. The only the only area that I think the Razer dulled is that they did not have physical buttons that flip out on a gaming smartphone. 120 hertz is nice. Everything about the phone is state of the art. But why you call it a gaming phone if there's no physical controls? We're coming back with more Geek Therapy Radio. I'm going to talk about the NVIDIA uh, GTX 1070 Ti, why that's a fart knocker, while NVIDIA is <laughs> kind of a fart knocker for releasing it. Um, but more Geek Therapy Radio to come. I'm Johnny Hamburger. What's your geek thing? What are you a geek about? Let me know on my Facebook, Geek Therapy Radio on Facebook, also Geek Therapy Radio on YouTube, and Geek Therapy Radio on Instagram. The show keeps growing and growing. Thank you very much. It's a slow, steady process. And I love each of you so much for for being a part of it. Um, my The email is geektherapy at iheartmedia.com. That's geektherapy at iheartmedia.com. Record yourself saying... You're listening to Geek Therapy Radio, and I will put it on the air. So send me those audio clips of yourself saying, you're listening to Geek Therapy Radio. Or you could say, you're listening to Geek Therapy Radio, and geeks are sexy. Whatever you want to say about listening to Geek Therapy Radio, email them to me. Geektherapy at iHeartMedia.com. That's geektherapy at iHeartMedia.com. And I will use your voice in the bumps in and out of these segments. So... On that note, thank you very much. This was a long segment, which means the next two are going to be a little bit shorter. I'm Johnny Hamburger. You're listening to Geek Therapy Radio. Up next, we're going to be talking about the NVIDIA GTX 1070 Ti and a bunch of other really nerdly topics. Um, So stay tuned, fart knockers. You're not fart knockers. You're my geeks, and I love you. And you're smart, and you're intelligent, and you're beautiful. Thank you for being geeks and staying with me. I just like to say, fart knocker. Fart knocker.